Welcome back to the channel. Today we're down in my studio because I needed a hard case for my Mamiya RB67 camera system and I didn't want to spend the money on a Pelican 1510. So let's look at this alternative. So what I was looking for was the Pelican 1510 series case with the padded insert and the zippered pocket lid uh, attachment. And if I got all that from Pelican, uh, buying from B&H, it'd be about $320. I don't want to spend that much. I know it's going to be a lot for a hard case, but I didn't want to spend that much. So what I have is the Apache 5800, which is from Harbor Freight Tools, which is, for me, literally just down the street, and I wanted to see if it was any good and how it would fit with the Pelican accessories. So they market it as an alternative to the 1510. And I gotta say, looking at this, I, I looked at the, the Pelican case at my local camera store, and looking at this, they are identical, with the exception of the handles. The handles on these, let me get this in front of the camera for you. Handles on these are not quite as beefy, but other than that, it is exactly the same. Uh, price, $99. So we're already at a third of what the, uh, the total, or a little under the third. And we're gonna open this up, we're gonna see what's in there and uh, put some of the accessories and then we'll build out the case. Can't really do a side-by-side -side review simply because we don't have a 1510 here to look at. So we're just gonna have to take this on its merit, um, but straight, off the shelf. Like I said, it looks exactly the same. The handle for the rolling handle looks exactly the same. Um, wheels roll pretty smooth, so pretty pleased with that. We also have the um, metal reinforced lock, um, padlock holes, and then the latches, of course, here. It has a gasket, it's sealed, it's got the valve. Um, other than that, there's not much difference, if any difference at all. There are people online who theorize, and without any confirmation from either company, it's just a theory, that this is actually made by Pelican uh, for the lower end market, and that's why they use uh, a little bit thinner handles. So whether or not that's true, we may never actually know. Okay, so let's uh, open this up and see what's inside of it. All right, so we've got our eggshell crate uh, sort of lid. This comes off, this comes right out, and we already have the mounting points pre-drilled and everything for the lid organizer that we're gonna put in. And then we have pluck foam. This comes standard in the 510. Uh, it comes standard in this, and it just comes right out. And we're gonna take that out for the inside. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So, let's go ahead and do the uh, lid divider since we've got this up right here. Let's do that. And the divider that I got is actually the Pelican brand. I'll show that to you. And that's because, looking online, this was actually the least expensive option for all of them. Uh, there are knockoff brands that cost a lot more. Um, and I think there may actually be a version 2, or will be soon a version 2 that's a little bit more, but I paid $32 for this from B&H. Another mounting screw. It's a Phillips. Ah, so I got my Phillips screwdriver here. And let's put this in. Move my chair out of the way so I'm going to trip over it. And this is kind of like a, I don't know, fiberboard or plastic base. Holes are already in it. And we're just going to screw this in real quick.
the next piece we're going to put in is the divider. And what I got was a mode limited again from B and H. And it's pretty much exactly like the uh, Pelican insert. Of course, I've already kind of put it in together, uh, but I haven't done any of this part here. And it's pretty good padding. And it's at least half an inch, maybe a little bit more. Fits in really, really well. Fits in nice and smooth. You can see it closes just fine. It's not the yellow of the Pelican, but it was uh, $60 instead of $100. So between the hard case, the insert, and this, I paid $200 instead of $320. So pretty good deal in terms of price. It's uh, two-thirds the price, a little less than two-thirds the price, but I think the case is just as good. All right, so we're going to take all this stuff out, and we're going to kind of make my system. Let me go get the camera. Okay. Now, what I have been doing with this camera before, instead of putting it into a case like this, is literally it's just on a shelf, and I'll just take out the camera and whatever lens I want to use and then put it all back when I'm done. But I want something a little bit more permanent. I'm going to start with this. We're just going to find a home for the cable. I've got filters, which this is a 77 millimeter kit from Tiffin. It's got red, yellow, and green in it, and we're going to uh, pop it in here. Got some extra caps. And I may change this up in the future. And that may do it for now. I might put a lens hood in there. Okay, so the actual camera, let's see, that's the top. So I want the weight, most of it down here. Let's see. I think how we're going to start this. I kind of want the camera body here, but first my spare back, so like the spare back, and then camera, and then maybe the prism. No, I think we're going to have to go half and half here in terms of the camera and then lenses. Let's see. And it's possible this case may be too small for all this stuff, but we're going to see what we can do.
Okay. See how this does. Okay. Well, that certainly seemed a little bit more of a tighter fit than I was anticipating. Because <laughs> I did not measure. I don't measure stuff. Cut twice, measure once. That's what I live by. All right. Um, so, got it in there. Got... Uh, the whole camera with a 90 millimeter lens and a back, spare back, 50 millimeter, 180, 150. The prism, not metered, two extensions, and then some accessories in there. And uh, yeah, fits well. Nice and snug, not going to move around. Weighs a ton, as you would expect, because it's a big camera. But it is really solid really well made and not something you want to carry around a lot but I do know that there is an accessory out there that lets you kind of change this to a backpack feel so you can carry it around on your back not something I plan to do but if I do need to go hiking in some fashion with a whole set I mean that's that's gonna kill me but um, <laughs> I could I could certainly do it so the Apache 5800 and some accessories. Get yourself a fake Pelican 1510 for $200, including the inserts. Will it fit an RB67 system? Yes, it will. Will it be a tight fit and a struggle with a lot of Velcro? Absolutely. Velcro sucks, man. I mean, it does its job, but once just to get there, it takes freaking forever. But we've got a camera, we've got all the lenses, all the accessories I've got, and it's all put in nice and snug, and I feel confident with it. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching me struggle with this uh, Velcro stuff long enough. Um, if you're trying to put together a system, I do recommend one of these. Like I said, they are incredibly cheap for the quality that you're going to get. So appreciate you watching. Um, get out there, make some photographs, carry your equipment to keep it safe. I don't anticipate taking this out much, but I guess I can now. Uh, but this is a good case to, uh, to have like in the back of your car. Um, it's going to fit in the trunk really, really well. So thanks again. We'll see you next time.